Glyco Sponge Grad is here, your source for local, low cost liberty information. So, guys, I got some really cool things here right now. Um, I got one of my favorite fruits. One of my favorite fruits, hands down. Hands down. Take a look. Yeah. 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 So, this is my favorite fruit. Um, this one here is watermelon, aka Citrillus linatus. Um, this is a native plant, uh, native plant to, to west, uh, to Africa, actually. This is a melon that is native to west Africa, uh, mostly, um, north, central, and east Africa, uh, north, central, and west Africa, um, and it extends all the way to the West Indies, West India, um, not the West Indies, but West India. Um, so this is like a huge range that this, this plant is native to. Um, it came over here came over here during a, tran pan a transatlantic slave trade um, and it has flourished especially here in the south the southern United States um, it is one of my favorite plants one of my favorite fruits to eat especially during the summer when it's really hot outside because it's hydrating it's a diuretic it has um, you get it you get, it comes in different varieties it comes in yellow it comes in red um, some some of the yellow varieties are actually more yellow orangish um, they come with really large seeds. I noticed that the yellow watermelon has really large seeds and that um, some of the red watermelon is super, super sweet. The yellow watermelon's always super sweet. Um, but I'm sitting here like salivating just just sitting here talking about it. But <laughs> um, The important thing about this is that I was making this video because I wanted to let you guys know um, how to identify like the best watermelon. The sweetest watermelon with a nice balance between sweetness and um, water content because you know sometimes you know you're looking for a watermelon and you want that sweet you want that sweet watery goodness and then sometimes you don't get that sweetness you just get straight water and somebody invites you over they say they got watermelon but look all watermelon is not made the same if you know then you know because <laughs> I know for sure somebody some people invite me over for watermelon and I'll come over and it's seedless there are no seeds whatsoever in it that's one red flag. That should be one red flag to you, because anything that does not have seeds is not something that can be easily reproduced in the wild, um, and it's not natural. It's not natural. I like natural things, so I want all the seeds. I want big fat seeds. I want things where I could accident. I could accidentally take this watermelon and cut off part of it, and then leave it to leave it and forget about it, and then I come back and there's more watermelon growing. That right there is the epitome of natural. That means that means that this plant is living. That means what you're eating is living, and that you're going to get some living, um, living energy from consuming uh, said watermelon. Uh, yeah. So some tips on how to uh, identify how to identify um, which watermelon is the best. So we got four watermelons here. Take a look. Take a look. You see. You see. They're all seated, as you as you can see, as you can see, seated. I can't say that French, but yes, seated watermelon. But yeah, so one of the things that you want to look out for, one of the things you want to, the best watermelons are the ones that have the most, uh, the tightest, like the nice webbing. So you want to see very distinct. You see this one, very distinct webbing. Uh, you want to see, you want to see, you want to have it dark and then light spots and you want the webbing to be tight um, but also in addition to that you want to see the underside the underside where the spot is you want to see the spot where it was touching the ground or where it was touching where it was coming into contact with the earth because um, it's important because this it's usually like a yellow spot but you know it's really it's most of them have yellow spots but the only some of them have this orange spot I don't know if you can tell but this is an this is like a yellow this is like you mostly yellow whitish spot on the bottom but then there's an orange spot and that orange spot is what you want to look out for because that orange spot means it's sweet um, that's one thing that orange nice orangish spot another thing is the webbing that's two things um, another thing is how tight the and and another thing is the um, um, the coloration like the 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 vivid color you want to see like dark and light and you want to see some nice tight webbing on this watermelon um, another thing is another thing is the shape of the watermelon so you see this is 
not completely, you can see the difference between these two. This one's more round. This one is more uh, oblong, more oval shape. This one's going to be more watery. Even if it's, even if it's, um, even if it is sweet and has a nice orange spot, look at the venation. It's, it's missing, it's not very distinct venation and it's not very tight. It's like loose venation and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's orange on the bottom. It's orange on the bottom here, yellow orangish. Um, but you see it's oblong and it's oval looking. That means that it's not going to have, that means that it's not going to be as sweet as other, um, as this other watermelon. It, the best watermelons are the ones that have this uh, more circular, globular, uh, globular um, shape, and so you want to you want to look for those. So less oblong, more circular shape, um, more roundish, and then um, the color, the contrast in color, the webbing, how tight the webbing is. Um, and it, as well as the underside. Um, another characteristic, the very last characteristic is some people are really good at this. I'm not really good at it, but some people, they like to hear the sound. But I'm not very good at that. But those are two, those are the things that, a um, few things that I know make a good watermelon. I hope this helps you guys in your watermelon search. And I hope, hope this helps you guys stay cool. Um, I'll see you guys later. Peace.